Hello and welcome, my name is Nilos. This is another tutorial in the series based in a book. We are this time going into electric engines and only in the context of working towards the purple science. Purple science is where things are really ramping up at this point. So let's have a look at what it looks like. First, as always, let's have a look at what it is we're trying to build. Purple science, if you do not recall. This is interesting because it takes 14 seconds, that's a long time. But on the other hand, it produces two per second. So in the context of how I design all of this, this is towards uh, two per second. So that means I need 14 of these, uh, yeah, 14 samplers to produce two. So every, that means I need one of these. So I need to design my builds, one electric engine per second, one assembling machine, one per second, and one electric furnace per second. So that's the designs we're looking for. Let's start with the electric engines. This is also irrelevant because it requires it requires the normal engines and it also leads into to robotic frames that also need in high demand. That means that you actually do face a kind of a bit of a, a question here in in the sense that what are you actually going to build? Um, are you going to build it like each modular, like you built the you built the engines by themselves, the electric engines by themselves and the robot robotic frames by themselves and then you merge it together at the end or you bust it basically. That means you need progressively more from engines because you need to fill all of the electric engine demand and all of the robotic frames demand. In this context I have decided to build this as a dedicated thing for science because then we can always build something else somewhere else. You can just copy this one but at least you know if I want a dedicated science setup this is it and that's the context of what we're doing. If I just take took engines in from the bus, well, that kind of not really be uh, relevant. So let's spin it up and see what it is. So this is the reason why this works in particular is actually because the construction time is 10 seconds and 10 seconds. So there's a clean one-to-one -one build and therefore they can just direct insert. So basically I have the materials for engines, whoops, sorry, coming in on one side. And this is quite simple. This just requires a lubricant. I'm doing this part of inserting here, but also just drag it down. But in that case, this is kind of, I think I could sort of flip them out this direction and bring them out. That's also an option, but I kind of like this one. There, and let's see if they are producing. This one is not producing yet because this one it took a bit of time. Again, we asked, this is my setup that we used for the engine setup and it works for the engine so it also works for this engine. You can see here they are coming out quite speedily. Speedily? Is that a word? I don't know if it is. It is now. There. And next we have the electric furnace. These are pretty simple. And in case I think that just in general context it is a good idea to take this and put it into a box of some kind. Even if it's just a single one. But you're going to need a few here and there. Or the robot legs, the exoskeleton legs, for example. And also, let's build some wires over here. This one requires, it takes five seconds, so I have five engines. Very simple. That's why it's easy to build everything towards one per second. See here, I'm actually combining things. So you can see there's only one that isn't used much of is the advanced circuits, but I still choose to combine it and it's not really a big deal. Not really a big deal that I combine it because you can see here it, it has plenty to move all the way up. Just um, so this is easily able to fill up. You look how easy it is. These ones as well, I would also recommend that you take these into a box if for no other reason than just there, right? So we put some in a box, but you're going to need those for setting up your smelting. Always a good idea to have these kind of things. Next one is slightly different. This is actually one of those I find really annoying that they have to be built like this. And this is the assembling machine, because if we look at the assembling machine, it requires a lot of iron. So this can produce every half second. But remember, I'm only designing towards one per second. So I have to generally underscale this one in order for me to to build, well, I would need three per second, five per second, gear wheels per second, and nine 
iron plates. We just build it. These ones will definitely easily have enough. And this one though. They are producing. And you have these. I do not recommend that you actually use these for anything in terms of just regularly. It doesn't make a difference. And this is then where we have the next one. So now we have all of the products. I don't recommend taking those into a box. We have those in our our normal mall, so no reason to do it. And then we are at about the end of the road. In terms of this, I think we'll just do it like this one. I have 14 of these. This is a very simple insertion. There's only a sort of one trick to it, and that's a trick we've seen before. Let's make sure that it's at there. Poor robot just can't keep up. Here, this line will have one item and they'll be picked in and then on the outer line will go out here. And also I'll just, for the sake of the movement here, I'll put a little box. That's of course not necessary because that will feed towards your, your labs. Let me just see if I can do this properly. Um, so... Come on, turn it. There. And I need... Ah, that was not practical, but anyway, this is it. It goes over here. Here, get and drag down the end. Let's go in here. Ah, it's not really ideal way of doing this. Anyway, that should not be. That could probably be done more convenient. There we go. Like that. Let's have a look at how it works. Ones. They take these ones are not sure to go in the line. They actually not really need it. You can also go like that, but a good measure just to indicate that it must go in. Let's have a look. You're the first one that will export. So let me let's see that you export. You will be exporting on the outer lane here, so they will coexist. See, and they're running up here. Seeing more coming in. And you no. And these have of course been stockpiling a bit, so they'll need to produce. And you can see that they will be filtered here. While oh no, I don't have them because they were really taken out by the robots. Do I have enough? I should have more than enough of the engines here. Oh, they're getting further up. These are not producing. And built faster. Let's have a look. Here, yeah, yeah, they're just cracking along with this. The reason here is that this has to be a stack inserter is because if there's only one inserter, you need a stack. Otherwise, it would simply will not be fast enough unless you have the full full uh, stack all right even then it's gonna really be pushing it so i just put it there and also by the time that you build this you will not have the full stack inserter capacity bonus or the non-stack inserter capacity bonus anyway so we have it nice clean uh, setup here electric engines i think this is the most clever clean one these two are just basic small things to build and the purple science is also just another build so there we have it thank you very much for watching and if you like it, leave a like and a comment below. And if you want more of this content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.